lot of talk about audits lately, but here's a fun fact. For years, state law has required all Colorado counties to perform audits after every election. And election results aren't official until these audits are complete. Here's how they work. Risk limiting audits are the highest standard of post-election audits. By law, they're conducted in every county in Colorado after every statewide election. The process compares randomly selected paper ballots to the electronic record of results sent to the Secretary of State. Matching the votes on these ballots to the electronic records tells us that the results of that election are correct within a certain mathematical margin. First, the Secretary of State's office holds a public meeting to create a random seat number by rolling many tenant-sided dice. This number is used by the audit software to tell each county which ballots will be audited. Next, two-person audit boards retrieve the randomly selected paper ballots to be audited. Then they work together, entering the votes from the paper ballot into the audit software. By law, the judges are always paired in bipartisan teams, and they both have to agree on the voters' intent for every contest. Once all votes from paper ballots are entered, the software compares those votes to the votes in the electronic record for those ballots to make sure they match. During the election, while we're scanning and counting ballots, Nobody knows which race will be audited because the Secretary of State announces the target contests after the election. If the race was close, we audit more ballots just to make sure the outcome was correct. Arapahoe County has done these audits since 2013, and every county in Colorado has done them in every election since 2017. In all that time, there hasn't been a single case showing that a voting system was not counting and recording votes properly. So to recap, risk limiting audits are bipartisan, use paper ballots, and they're proven to work year after year.